What up, world and YouTube fans? It's Ray2K back with another exclusive video. Showing you guys uh, my little setup here. As you guys can see, uh, we're basically running, um, you know, dual monitors to game with. And I uh, wanted to give you guys a little update on the Titan install and the motherboard install with the uh, Anyways 51. Basically, um, the Titan was unsuccessful with the motherboard that the Alienware has inside it. Um, basically, what happened is like the trick that I was using, which is the power supply trick that I was using with the 680 to get the 680 to work, uh, did not work with the Titan. Now, I challenged that guy who says he has a 690 in his X51 to uh, show me. You know what I mean? I know he had a little spoof video, but it's that's not the truth because my my friend did the same thing I did, and the same thing happened. Um, basically, when you do the power supply trick with the Titan, it kills the Titan. And I had to end up RMA in the Titan and getting another one for dead on arrival. Uh, big hassle. But, you know, I learned my lesson. And um, everything was fine with the motherboard and everything. So I put everything back together. The 680. I still I put the 680 back in there and uh, took the hard drive out, the SSD I had out, and pretty much built me another computer. So what I have over here, guys, is the LAN box with uh, pretty much two-way SLI Titans. And I'll show you guys the motherboard that I went with. Uh, let me run into my little storage room right here. But uh, so you guys can you can see, I went with the uh, Gigabyte Z77X UP5TH, which is TH stands for Thumb Thunderbolt. Basically, I went with Thunderbolt, guys, because uh, I wanted to just kind of mimic this Mac, this Hackintosh that I saw uh, on on, on uh, Tony 86, Tony Mac 86, and um. You know, so I'm basically running uh, triple boot, Mac OS X Mountain Lion, uh, Windows 7, and Windows 8. I was going to throw in Ubuntu on another SSD, but I already had like three SSDs and like fucking two, two, three thousand terabytes installed on the docking bays down there and shit like that. And uh, as you guys can see, my little Mortal Kombat pad here, because I was uh, just picked up the game Injustice for the Xbox, and I've been playing that like crazy, man. I love that game. It's a pretty nice game. If you guys got an Xbox, go out and get that. Go out and rent it or something like that. But um, as you guys can see here, I'm running two monitors. This is not the X51. This is my HAFX. I basically stopped gaming on the X51. Now, I was going to give it to my son, but honestly, uh, his mother won't let me put it in his room, and he's only seven years old, so... Uh, won't be needing the X51. So what I was doing was putting it up for sale. So, I mean, uh, I'm basically putting it up there as it is. The i7-2600, the 750-watt power supply, the 330-watt power supply, uh, and the 680, the whole tower. I have a 640-gigabyte hybrid SSD inside, um, installed with Windows 8, uh, official copy, and... Um, Basically, you know, I'm selling this thing for, you know, 800 bucks, 800 bucks, 750, somewhere around that area. Anybody comes close to it, then they can pretty much take it off my hands. But I no longer need the X51 because I'm now doing it real big. You know, the reason I say, you know, what I'm saying I went, I had to get out of the X51 is because, you know, it's a great starter computer for someone who doesn't know about gaming and stuff like that, who doesn't know really much about PC gaming, and it's a good way to get into it. But uh, honestly, uh, over the past year, I've been uh, haunted with the fact that you can get more. You can do more. There, there can be better graphics. There can be faster pace while I'm on the PC. It's just, I, I just understood, I started to understand that you can do more than what I was doing with the 680. So uh, being that the, X, the X51 was so small, I couldn't, you know, go SLI. I couldn't, you know, change the power, change the power supply. I couldn't. You know, I couldn't uh, change out the motherboard and stuff like that. But as far as like RAM and hard drive and graphics card, up to a certain point. Now, the highest you can really go with the X51 is the 670. I did the power supply trick, which allowed you to go to the 680. But the power supply trick does, doesn't allow you to go any higher than the 680. So the 680 is like the max out for now until we see like a 780 or a 770 and then we won't know maybe the 780 might do exactly what the titan did which is poof out so two-way sli is the way i'm going now guys if you can see i'm running two monitors that means that uh, i'm gaming in full experience now 
everybody knows that NVIDIA doesn't allow you to have two screens. So what I do have is a third monitor, a smaller monitor behind that TV there, just uh, just to like um, allow me to go stretch the screen out and play the game through the two screens. So what I do is I go to the NVIDIA uh, control panel and then, you know, where it says the text screen. I use my third screen as my desktop while I'm gaming. And uh, and uh, pretty much uh, show you my setup here. You know, it's just basically just uh, the couch and stuff like that. Um, pretty much kind of like in a little theater mode. And um, I use basically just sit here right here in front of the screen and just game it up right there. I use a wireless controller. And uh, also, I kind of like kind of like take this ottoman here and like move it over here, move it over to the side over here, and just um, kind of use that sometimes as a resting point. But uh, what I'll do is I'll show you guys. Uh, X51, um, I basically installed the uh, latest um, Windows 8 official. I want you to stay out of the screen right now. I want you to be inside this video. Uh, so this is the X51, fellas. Windows 8. I pretty much, um, then I'm going to unplug my mouse from this computer and take it over here so you guys can see everything in. Full effect. Here we'll go inside the X51. Back over here and uh, go through it. Oh, I guess I gotta take this easy. The keyboard too, huh? Hold on, fellas. Still, uh, we still have the Astros and everything. The Astros are the best 7.1 surround sound headphones to date. I've had the uh, Tritons. I've had the other ones. I had the, you know, the Quad Turtle Beaches, and you know, none of those come close to what the 850, 850s do, man. So, you know, for you guys out there that don't know about the 850s, they are the best 7.1 wireless surround sound headphones. So. Again, we'll get back over here onto the X51, and I'll show you guys. Yes? Uh, uh, we finna get, no, nobody's home but you. We're finna get ready to go to get mom from the airport. So I need you to go put some, put your clothes on. And don't put on anything, son, you understand me? Okay, let me get my password right, guys. Damn it. All right. And we'll show you guys here that, uh, got everything installed and uh, what I might do guys is uh, if someone purchases I might just kind of do a fresh install and let you fill out all your information on there and stuff like that because I don't want my email and stuff to be saved in there or, or if I find out a way to stop it from put, putting my email on there then I'll do that I'll take the password thing away and uh, as you guys can see we'll go to EV, EVGA Precision X so you guys can see where we are this is the Anyway, 51 with the GTX 680, already overclocked and everything. Just got the message from my wife saying she just touched down, so I'm gonna have to cut this video short, guys. Um, for you guys out there, um, you guys can see, went ahead and installed Steam and Origin on there. I didn't put any games on there. What I'll do is I'll load a couple bootleggies on there for you, and um, that's the best that I can do, honestly. But uh, other than that, guys. I'll, I'll bring up, I'll bring up Unigen or, or um, yeah, Haven or whatever. Show you guys I got everything on the stream and Ultra and all that stuff. I won't do multi monitoring, but I'll run it. Show you guys everything is pretty much uh, 
official. So you guys can take it from there. And um, again, guys, what I had to do, man, was I pretty much wanted to. I pretty much wanted to go big with it, man. I mean, I know a lot of guys say, oh, it's overkill when you do two-way SLI Titans and shit like that. But honestly, they only the word overkill means I don't have enough money to do what you're doing. That's basically what it means to me. And, um, you know, I'm not in that boat that those guys are in. You know, I pretty much uh, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. And I'm not really worried about, you know, the money or anything like you are. So, you know, if you guys are saying this overkill thing and all that stuff just keep it to yourself man if, you know if you want to purchase it you know uh, go ahead and be my guest and you know and uh question send me a question i can set up a, pri a private ebay or whatever you guys want you know that'll be even better honestly a private ebay i take paypal pa i really prefer paypal because you know so much protection there and just everything is just so reliable with paypal and uh you know um that's pretty much it guys uh again the guys who say it's overkill that just means that they can't afford to do what you're doing and i'll show you i'll, I'll show you guys you know again this is my this is my uh, hafx right here over here guys and this is dating works 51 and um yeah, those overkill guys, man, they just, they're hilarious, man, because they they sit there and they got like a 570 and they're like, well, that's overkill. There's no games to, you know, boost up the graphics that high. And honestly, if I take your 570 and I put it on my two screen, my three screens, and I won't get the same, I won't get the same frame rate. You know what I mean? This frame rate that I'm getting with the two SLI Titans is fucking amazing with these two screens here. It's fucking submersive, but it's fucking amazing. I sit here and I fucking just have a fucking blast, man. And uh, there's no one to take that away from me. And um, again, guys, this has been an exclusive video from your guy Ray 2K. Uh, just showing you guys what I'm all about and just letting you guys know that I am putting the X51 up there for sale. So if anybody wants to inquire on it, anybody wants to grab this off of my hands, remember I did cut the back out. You can go to another video and see it. But what I'll do is I'll post up some newer pictures on how it looks and everything and um we'll leave it at that fellas and uh again fellas stay tuned i'll be coming with more and even better videos with the land box over there and you know here's the x51 you know it always sit on the side over here which is pretty small it's small i liked it it was pretty decent but the land box over here it really doesn't bother me i've water cooled everything Everything is just completely silent. If you really listen, the X51 is louder than the land box. The land box makes no no, no sound at all. Full speed gaming, and uh, you know, just you know, just that thing where people were like, you know, it's so big, you know, yeah, I can put the X51 in my backpack and travel with it. But honestly, you're not supposed to be traveling with a computer to be real, it's, unless it's a laptop. And if I want to travel with a gaming laptop, I'll pretty much just go buy a gaming laptop, the top of the line one. So you know. Uh, in my world, bro, it's pretty much everything's for grabs. So uh, you guys check that out, man. You guys can see, you know, a little setup. It's Ray 2K back with another exclusive video. See ya.